not seeing your manifestations because you lack on consistency. You're not seeing your manifestations because you lack on discipline. Stop looking for the easy fix. Why are you expecting different changes if you're still doing the same? If you want to see changes in your life, you have to be the change. Imagine that you're in your weight loss journey and you just started going to the gym, you started eating healthier and you've been, you've been doing this for a week and you see, okay, I'm not seeing any changes. However, you know if you keep doing this journey, you know that within a month time you will see some changes in your body. Maybe your stomach gets slimmer, maybe your you know legs get slimmer, maybe you start seeing more muscles. However, you stop before you see any changes. Isn't that just a dumb decision? Let's say that I am on a skin journey because I want to have that glow up, I want to kind of have more self-love. However, I've just been using this product that really matches with my skin tone, that really matches with the type of my skin. However, I'm still not seeing any changes. Do you think I'm gonna stop it? No, I just started. I know I have to keep carry on. I know I have to be to keep going so I can actually see some changes. If you understand this logic, why can you not apply the same for your desire? Why can you not apply for the same when you're doing a, a, a robotic affirmations? Why can you not apply the same for your manifestation? Because your problem is that you just want a quick fix. Your problem is because you can't be focused. You just can't be disciplined and that's literally the downfall of your manifestations by you being lazy by you being not motivate uh, not disciplined not focused you are actually delaying your blessings like you have to stop delaying your blessings you have to lock in to focus and do what the fuck you have to do. You can't keep complaining, say, oh, but my manifestation is not working. I'm doing this five times a day, it's not working. I don't give a damn. You have to keep going. You have to keep practicing because you'll reach a point where you're gonna have your manifestation. I already told you, everyone tells you that if you keep doing, your robotic affirmation, your robotic affirming, you will see your desire. Why are you not doing this? Why do you need kind of reassurance to see that's gonna work out? But you go to the gym and you know you want to changes on the same day you go and you don't stop. Why you don't stop? Because you know, by science, you know by your personal trainer, you know by examples that you can get slimmer, that you can get healthier. Why are you not implementing the same for your manifestation? This is the only question that I have here. But don't worry, we can fix this. The thing you have to do is to keep doing your stats, keep doing your affirmations. And you cannot rely on motivation to do a certain task. Like, I have a lot of things that I do on a daily basis. I am in university, I have this channel, I have a nine to five job, I do go to the gym, I'm in a relationship, I have cats that need my attention, but I still make sure that I show up for everything I have to do in my life. I still make sure that I'm showing up for my desire. Like. Do you think I'm, you know, crying on my room and complaining? No, I mean, sometimes I am, but, you know, in the end of the day, I can complain, I can cry, I can do all of these things, but I show up for myself. 
Sometimes I'm, I have like three hours of sleep and I still go to the gym. Is that healthy? No, but you know, priorities. I'm not saying this is what you have to do, they have to sleep less. I'm not, I'm not saying like this is what you have to do, they have to sleep less. No, I'm just telling you that I don't make up excuses. That's what you, you are doing, like you are expecting to see your manifestation, but everything you do is making fucking excuses. Everything you do is complaining and baby, that has to stop. You have to reach to a point and actually realize, oh damn, if I don't do this, no one will do that for me. If I keep complaining, I won't have my blessing. So what are you actually waiting for? The problem of a lot of people is to kind of look to the easy fix, is to go to other manifestation, um, you know, channels where they see, oh, you can have this within three seconds, which you can by assuming that, but people forget the, the inner work that you actually have to do. Like, uh, didn't you, have you ever realized that I don't make videos about how to get your recipe? Because I think, and that's what I believe, and you might like it or not, but I think that if you keep doing like, oh, manifestation, how can I manifest my SP? My SP doesn't love me. My SP da, 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 is like you don't love yourself. If you keep chasing someone, it's because you don't have self-concept. Like, I know I can manifest anyone into my life because that's my self-concept. I know that. So I actually don't kind of identify with a low self-concept and that's why you don't see me doing a lot of videos about that because I think that's such a small thing that I just make videos about how can you manifest higher things because you can manifest anything in the world like why are you worrying about a boy that doesn't give two shits about you like that's a part of the manifestation community that I don't understand and you might judge me now but this is me this is a true me this is why you subscribe to me because I'm real and I know I'm authentic I know all of the things like I'm not gonna sell you any bullshit because the only thing I don't, I'm here to do is to motivate you to be better I'm here to tell you that you have to stop being late being lazy you have to start doing the work, do your affirmations, like your feelings shouldn't interfere with anything. Like sometimes I don't feel my best, but I still manage to go to work. I still manage to go to the gym. I still manage to manifest. Like, and if I'm not seeing my affirmations, I listen to some subliminals. I visualize before going to bed. Like I do something, okay? Like, and, and that's what you have to realize. You can watch all the videos you want, but if you don't practice what you're watching, what's the use? Honestly, what's the use? You have to stop watching manifestation content and actually manifest. I do understand that maybe you're getting inspired for you know, success stories. Maybe you want to learn more so you can actually believe and you can actually get motivated. But if you just watch, if you just do your research and you never apply what you researched about, what's the use of that? Like, you have to practice. You have to do it. You have to be focused, disciplined and do it. Literally. You have to do it. Like, I could be here preaching stuff about discipline, so, uh, uh, about motivation, about, you know, for you to be focused, about for you to stop procrastinating, but you're not doing shit. Like, what's the use of me spending an hour, two hours, three hours, if in the end you just keep watching videos, if in the end you don't show up for yourself, if in the end you don't do things, like, what's the use of that? 
But some people spend so much time scrolling on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts and blah 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 and they actually feel bad because they see like other people's lives are kind of better than your life and that's actually as well delaying your manifestation because you're not doing something that makes you happy and if this is your situation you have to delete social media you have to do a detox because you have to take all of the distractions that doesn't allow you to proceed with your life that doesn't allow you to manifest like i i've been doing that i deleted instagram the instagram app for my phone because i was just scrolling i deleted my tiktok app from my phone i deleted my youtube studio app from my phone because i was just checking all the time all the time all the time and that's not healthy the moment you realize that if you keep showing up for yourself, if you keep persisting, no matter how the fuck you're feeling, your manifestation will show up. People that sometimes are sad, they still manifest. It's just true because they keep doing like no matter what. I manifested even when I was sad. Like I'll give you this example. I love, I'm obsessed weed band called Jonas Brothers, right? And if you're my friend, you know this, like since I was 10. Um, and I waited 12 years to see these guys. They're three. Um, and it's crazy because I've, I know, I used to cry because, oh my God, they don't come to Portugal because I was living, you know, in my country. They come to Portugal, they go every place but not Portugal. And I was praying to see these guys praying like every day because the love that I have is so strong like you know that feeling that I want to see them is so strong because there's such you know a part of me of my childhood of my dreams of everything they're the reason why I learned English they're the reason why I came to England and they're so important to me like honestly they're a big part of my life and the first time I saw them it was back in 2020 man I was thrilled I did manifest these guys this year I'm gonna see them twice bear in mind they canceled the tour in Europe however they managed to go to Portugal and I was there like first row I saw them I met them the day before I have a picture with one of them Kevin Jonas like this is all I wanted since I was 10 this happened when <laughs> when I was 27 like can you imagine actually reaching your goal can you imagine experiencing experiencing your dream life can you imagine that that's possible I've done it I'm gonna see them again in October I'm going to Florida like Jonas Brothers Florida all of this YouTube you know it was on my vision board all of these things was on my vision board and you know why I'm, I'm gonna do it you know why I've been I keep experiencing things it's because I don't give up I didn't see this guy for 12 years and you know you know look I'm seeing them like they just live you know uh, around the corner you know what I'm saying like I'm going to USA that was such a dream of mine and I thought there was never a possibility for me to go and I just keep doing I just keep manifesting and that's that's the message for you today you're not seeing your manifestations because you lack on consistency you're not seeing your manifestations because you lack on discipline you lack on being focused so lock in take all of the distractions and do the thing that you have to do like it's not tough manifestation it's not tough it's easy trust me and another thing like when i went to their concert in june my channel you know went kind of viral i was so happy 
I was going to the beach, I was seeing my idols, I met my idols, and I was just feeling like so whole, I was feeling so happy, and I attract that, because I was not attached to my manifestation, I was in flow, but regardless, I was doing my manifestation, I was affirming, but I was not with the, the feeling that, oh, I need this. I was like, no, I know this will come. And now I can see my videos blowing up like more often. And with this, I wanted to say that no matter what people say, no matter, no matter how I'm feeling, I'm disciplined. Like you can manifest five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night, done. You cannot come here and tell me, oh, I don't have time. Yes, you do. Because if I have time, everyone has time. I have so many things that I do on a daily basis and I still check all of my tasks, still check everything. Even if I'm tired as hell, I still keep doing. So please don't come on my YouTube commenting bullshit, saying that you don't have time because you do have time.